Capital Life Conflict The processes of capital accumulation clash with the processes for sustaining collective life. Feminist economics condemns the capitalist system for being heteropatriarchal and racist and for serving only to protect markets to the detriment of human lives and the environment. Markets and multinational corporations have gained strength due to trade agreements and other factors, transforming our lives and the natural world into something that is bought, exploited and sold. Who controls these markets and the economy? Those responsible tend to be white, bourgeois, male, adult, urban and heterosexual. The less we have in common with them, the less of a priority we are. Race, class, origin and sexual orientation create hierarchies and gaps where privilege can be exercised. Identifying differing degrees of privilege is just as important as being aware of the specific privileges we possess. The capital life conflict operates in ways that are both common and unequal. In order for a few individuals to accumulate capital, the lives of everyone else and the planet come under violent attack. The conflict also has an unequal impact because the attack varies by gender, social class and place of origin. For example, migrant women who work in the homes of families in the global north so that the women can join the formal labor market and the men can ignore care work completely. Our political struggle aims to provide a response to this common yet unequal problem. Through feminist economics, we shine a light on issues that were once invisible, overlooked because they were not named. By failing to name the issues, we help conceal the capital life conflict. We fight for life to cease, to be accommodated, to be exploited, and to become something that we collectively care for and sustain. Feminist economics calls for the elements that are essential for the common good to be prioritized over the interests of the markets.